Well, here we are again on the channel, folks. Welcome back. And yet again, we're looking at the 2011 Vauxhall Zafira. This is the 1.7 CDTI EcoFlex engine. And we're looking into quite a few problems this time. Uh, one is uh, what appears to be a sticky turbo actuator valve. So we'll be taking a look at that. <laughs> So on this one, the 1.7 CDTI, it's turbo diesel, and uh, the turbo is right the way down there. Let's see if you can see the front of it. So that's the turbo there, and the valve that we're talking about is here. It's a vacuum operated actu actuator waste dump valve. And you can see I'm just flexing it there. And the problem that I'm getting is I'm getting a fault code. I'll show you the fault code. And basically, it's not responding correctly. And after it's tried a couple of times, it'll put the car into limp home mode. Uh, engine management light on. Now, you can clear it immediately. And you can start using the car again. And you'll find that the turbo will respond after that. So, I think it's just sticky. Now, I've tried to tried to uh, solve it a couple of times by oil and things like that and it doesn't seem to have helped. So one of the main problems we've got is access. You can see here I've taken the, uh, the main grill off. That's fairly easy. Three, three bolts and then you push clip each of these in. Don't just pull because otherwise it'll snap the clips there. So do do that carefully. But you can see to get in to where we want to be is here we've got several obstacles in our way we've got an oil cooler we've got an air conditioning radiator and we've got the main coolant radiator behind that so I think first thing is we'll take this cross member off and we'll see if that gives us better access it may be possible that we can just fold the radiators a little bit forward and that will give us enough room if there's enough flex on them but I'm not sure so we'll we'll take this off first and see what we get So it keeps on off raining, but in between the rain, so taking the cross member off there, I've also taken the air intake pipe off. Oops, I don't have wires in the way. And um, actually, this is an air cooler, not an air oil cooler, as I incorrectly first said. So what I'm going to do is remove this pipe because it's you can squeeze it and you can find there's no liquid in it. So that's a good indication. I'm going to take that or just move it across, so then we should be able to get a little bit better access. And take a look at the turbo actuator see how much we need to get that to do this job Thank you. 
So you can see I can move the turbo actuator by hand so it's not seized solid. It will actually move. Now whether it moves enough I'm not sure. Here you can see the actual problem that I get. I get the engine management, the limp home mode indicator come on and it limits the revs. The revs would not go above, I think it's about 2,500, 3,000 RPM, something like that. And that's the problem that I'm getting. It's only in the first few minutes of driving. So it looks like this can move. Now I'm going to take a further look at this in a future video along with another few ideas I've got because it could be the exhaust gas recirculation is clogging up or something else. So that's what I'm going to do. I think that's all for now on this video. It was a very cold, wet day, so I didn't get very far. I certainly didn't get the to the end of the problem and solve it. So that's all on this video for now with the Vauxhall Zafira. Another one coming up very soon. So uh, pop a like and uh, pop some comments down below if you can think of other things that I need to look at and uh, see if we can solve this problem. Thanks again for watching.